Hello, and thank you for watching Action Toy Spotlight, where we'll be shining our spotlight on the World Peacekeepers Power Team Elite Humvees. The simpler style of this vehicle is the two-door version. This style is used for the troop carrier variant and the covered variant. Each of these features opening driver and passenger side doors and snorkels in the lowered position. Troop and cargo transport isn't glamorous, but it's a necessary part of military life, and these Humvees are almost perfect for it. The biggest problem is that the tailgates don't lower as they do in some other versions like this one from Bravo Team. The more complicated version is the four-door version. This style is used for the basic Woodlands camo version, desert version, and an Arctic version that will not be featured in this video. All of these versions feature four opening doors, an opening hatch in the back for storage, and a top hatch that opens to allow access to the roof mounted weapons. The Woodlands camo version comes armed with the overscaled Mark 19 grenade launcher that a lot of World Peacekeeper sets have. This automatic grenade launcher includes a belt of grenades and an ammo box. The desert version comes armed with a tow missile launcher, and it includes a rack of tow missiles to simulate your crew loading the launcher. All versions come with a tow hitch allowing you to attach a trailer for extra cargo capacity. As with all World Peacekeeper sets, these vehicles come with various diorama pieces and accessories, and they come with action figures boasted as having 22 points of articulation. There's not a lot of flash or excitement in these vehicles, but the Humvee is iconic to modern warfare, and these World Peacekeepers versions are quite serviceable, relatively cheap and relatively easy to come by, at least during the holiday shopping season. We've got a few of them and we'll likely end up with more, especially if we can find the Arctic version in our area.